coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Delta rescinds four-year degree requirements for FOs. Anchorage Airport sees brutal windstorm. Train versus down Skyhawk results in dramatic rescue. Hi, welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Delta rescinds four-year degree requirement for FOs. Delta Airlines has notified prospective pilot candidates that the company has reduced its minimum hiring requirements. The reception was mixed with more than a few non-industry commenters decrying the decline in standards. Those in the pilot career pipeline should be excited as the drawing back of the non-essential standards in the biggest legacy carriers means that at last the long-prophesied pilot shortage may be upon us. Generations of aviators have been advised of an industrial crisis that's always a few convenient years away when the demand for pilots will far outstrip supply and formerly lofty demands for even entry-level flight jobs could return to reality. College degrees, like so many other elements of the modern economy, have suffered from their own detrimental form of inflation across the board. Job offerings that once used the four years bachelor's degree as an indicator of hard work and academic rigor have all moved up market as a flood of technically credentialed students have poured out of institutions with a flotsam of majors only sometimes well suited for the workforce. Delta's recruiting page says, quote, after a comprehensive review of our pilot hiring requirements, Delta has decided to make a four-year college degree preferred rather than required for first officer candidates effective immediately, end quote. After the break, Illinois Ultralight and Light Sport Aviation Symposium canceled. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we are going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Illinois Ultralight and Light Sport Aviation Symposium canceled. The upcoming Ultralight and Light Sport Safety Symposium has been canceled according to the Illinois Ultralight Advisory Council. The organization has decided that ahead of a projected rise in COVID-19 cases, their safety-themed event would be better off postponed until the pandemic threat is sufficiently reduced. IUAC official Vicki Betts says, quote, for many reasons, we feel that it would be better to simply once again skip the event for this year and concentrate on a 2023 event to be held on the last Saturday in February, as we have done for the past 40 years, end quote. 2022 Soaring Society Convention Canceled The Soaring Society of America has canceled its annual convention, believing that the late winter period will not see measurable pandemic recovery amid increasing cases from state to state. Executive Director of the Association, Denise Layton, said, quote, Sometimes hard decisions have to be made for the safety and welfare of our members, and this is one such time. After many weeks gathering data and careful consideration, the board feels with the COVID pandemic and numbers expected to rise in mid-February, it is not wise to have a large gathering at this time, end quote. Instagram CFI defrauds students. The first prosecution of an airman operating without a certificate has been filed, with the filings of indictment for wire fraud and uncertificated airmanship. Matthew Jones of Spanish Fork, Utah, is accused of falsely presenting himself as the owner and operator of Noctum Aviation and a certified flight instructor for fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Jones stands accused of defrauding prospective students by presenting himself through text messages and Instagram posts to be a capable and legal instructor for the purposes of obtaining funding for his daily living expenses. UND selects PPL scholarship recipients. 
The UND Aerospace Foundation has announced a $300,000 award from the Ray Foundation for the exclusive use for scholarships to aid 25 U.S. military veterans in their quest to become aviators. The scholarships will cover an estimated 80% of the cost to obtain a private pilot certificate at the UND Phoenix Flight Training Center from February 2022 onwards. Once they have their PPL in hand, students will be in a position to use their GI Bill benefits to continue their training. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Anchorage Airport sees brutal windstorm. A severe windstorm struck Alaska earlier last week, wreaking havoc across the south central region, with winds up to 91 miles per hour causing damage to vehicles, power lines, and equipment. Witnesses were surprised to see the level of damage caused by breakaway aircraft, which were subjected to such forces that tie down anchors and ropes were ripped from their attachment points. The airport at Palmer Municipal saw at least five aircraft totaled from the storm in Matanuska, Susitna, and locals say they were able to batten down the hatches just in time to stop worse damage. Local Don Hammond saw the winds pick up his PA-32 Cherokee 6 and dash it inverted against the tarmac. Preliminary estimates by locals put the damage to buildings alone at over $1 million, with unknown levels of repair needed to get those aircraft airworthy once again. Hammond's efforts to secure planes paid dividends. Other people near the airport often patrol for loose aircraft ahead of inclement weather, which this time was able to limit damages. Residents of the area report little assistance from government entities throughout the storm, only afterwards learning that Governor Mike Dunleavy issued a state disaster declaration for the area, hopefully opening up their coffers to cover damage to the aircraft. After these messages, train versus downed Skyhawk results in dramatic rescue. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Train versus downed Skyhawk results in dramatic rescue. One viral video this week showed a dramatic last second save by a Los Angeles Police Department officer who rescued a recently crashed pilot out of his plane only seconds before an oncoming train collided with the wreckage. The LAPD released the Foothill Division officer's body cam footage saying they displayed heroism and quick action with their response. The units were called to an afternoon crash landing involving a single occupant Cessna 172 that came to rest on top of the Metrolink Antelope Valley line train tracks. The aircraft appeared to have had a rough go of things on the way down as its nose gear had collapsed and was rendered immobile. The pilot, bleeding from his face, seemed dazed and unresponsive. Quick thinking and sharp-eyed rescue crews rushed to extricate him, quickly pulling him 15 feet from the tracks. The group narrowly avoided the train and watched it pass behind them at speed, where it lopped the tail off the Cessna while ejecting debris toward bystanders. Luckily, the pieces missed the onlookers. The pilot was transported to the hospital for evaluation and care. The LAPD said the aircraft was forced to land after losing power, and the pilot is in stable condition with no injuries reported. Well, that's all for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.